such as marriage, money, job, children. To me, those difficult questions come in this form. What's your name? Where are you from? Well, I'm Sarah. I was originally from China. You could sense the hesitation in my answer. Well, I'm Sarah. The truth is, Sarah is only the first layer of me. I feel like by giving you this answer on Sarah, I am hiding something. By telling you I was originally from China, I'm also only giving you the slice of where I came from. If you happen to have my mother's number and called her asking, Hello, I am Sarah's friend. May I speak to Sarah? Guess what's going to happen? She'll hang up on you. <laughs> <laughs> because to my mom, I'm not Sarah. If you ran into my college friends and you said, oh yeah, my friend Sarah, she told me she's from the ABC college. And that friend will say, Sarah who? Because I was not Sarah when I went to a Chinese college. If you happen to run into one of my graduate school friends in South Korea, you said, oh yeah, Sarah is from my college as well. She was like, Sarah, what? Because nobody knew me as Sarah. By now, you're thinking you're a fraud. Or you are under some government protection. <laughs> <laughs> or you're married to someone who decided to give you a new name. None of this is the truth. I do feel I am the true, authentic, one-of-a-kind Sarah. But to many of the people in my life, I'm not. I was known as Sarah Gu, G-U, which is on the agenda today. Sarah Go, which actually is on a lot of uh, the documents uh, about me. I was also Gu Yong Hong, as well as Go Yong Hong. Of course, now you're all confused. <laughs> which one is you? I am all of them. The story started from many years ago when I went to South Korea from China to South Korea to study. So I was trying to tell people my name is Gu Yong Hong. And the South Korean government said, there's a wrong pronunciation. We'll give you a name, Go Yong Hong. So I said, fine, if I'm accepted, why not? So I became Go Yong Hong. So Go became my last name instead of Gu, because that's what the government told me. I'm not supposed to be Gu, so I'm supposed to be Go, so I became Go. And then after I finished graduate school, I found a job. So I went to the job interview. They asked me, what's your name? I'm like, Go Yong Hong. My Korean language was bad. So after a few like confusing looks, I said, fine, actually I'm Sarah. So I said, great. Sarah fits for the job application because I was in an English teacher's position. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. I became Sarah Go because no English teacher in South Korea was supposed to have an Asian name. So Sarah is an English teacher's name. And of course, my students always ask me, so Sarah, teacher, where are you from? I'm like, oh, that's a long story. Uh, maybe I'll tell you some other day. Because the job description also told me, if you were an English teacher, you were not supposed to be from China. You were supposed to be from Seattle, Washington, the United States. So 
but I couldn't be abroad. Couldn't say that I was from Seattle, Washington, the United States. So I said, I'll tell you some other day, because it's a long story from where I came from. And many times, I do feel it's a hard answer to your short question, what's your name, where are you from? The truth is, many of us, or all of us, Thank you very much.